certainly a very disappointing uh, performance. You know, I felt offensively we had some opportunities early in terms of field position, and we just weren't able to put any drives together. You know, we didn't have negative runs early, but we didn't have really any anything five, six, seven yard runs to create the second and shorts that you would like to have. And then we just really didn't click in the passing game early as well. So you know, when you go three and out, six plays and a punt, three and out, three and out, it's a, we've essentially squandered the, the good field position that we had early in the game. We were able to do a good job with them, pinning them in early in the game, but as as the field position swung, I thought we put our, our defense in some uphill situations there late in the first half. You know, a 28-yard field, a 55-yard field. You know, and again, if you if you give offensive football teams short fields, the percentage of the scoring go way up, and then you dig yourself a hole like we did in the in the first half. So you know, we're certainly disappointed. Uh, we've got another game coming very quickly uh, that we need to get ready for. You know, we had some players that, that got that had to leave the game for injury reasons and then came back in, and then we had some that didn't come back in. So we'll have to take a look at that as we get to tomorrow and see who'll be available for us this Thursday night. But, you know, I, I felt good that the team came out in the second half, fought really hard, and, and today you know, we have to give credit to Pitt. They were a better football team than we were today. They have very talented players. You know, I thought their quarterback played an exceptional game. He played the type of game you would expect out of a senior quarterback. We knew they had talented running backs. We knew uh, Aaron Donald was an excellent defensive tackle. And I thought all of their, all of the players that we knew could really impact the game, they did a good job. You know, they have good football players here. Coach Chris did a good job today. So I'm going to add a certain off to them. Questions? Kyle, in the first quarter, I know there were a couple drops, but what else did you see offensively that, on why you guys were struggling? Yeah, we have to look at the tape to see exactly what it was. But it, you, know, you see the drops. And that and that hurts you. And you see the the three and four yard runs, which again, the three and four yard runs are less of an issue if you throw and catch better. But it didn't seem like either phase offensively was was going very well in the first half. And then you end up three and out too many times. And in the beginning of the game, we were able to survive it because we were winning the field position battle anyway. But then the field position battle swung on us, and now you're down at the half. How much of a factor was the wind down there? Did it affect your play calling? Or? I don't know that it affected the play calling very much, and I thought both quarterbacks did a good job of, of throwing the ball fairly accurately today. I, I didn't see too many plays where I felt the, uh, the wind affected the pass game. I think it really affected the kickoffs and the punts a little bit more than it did the pass game. Kyle, what happened to Gary when he got hurt, and was that something that lingered after he came back in and kind of affected the game at all? I think he just got shook up a little bit, and then when he went back in, you know, I felt like he performed well. You know, I didn't think his... His, um, his, his accuracy or his decision making. You know, when he came back in the game, he was good. Did any of the Big East stuff, or Big Ten stuff, have any layover this week? All the, all the stuff going on was a focus there? I don't think so. And I think every, everybody has to, to look at themselves. But when I judge the team, to me, it's very easy to judge the team because I can judge it by the focus in practice. And I thought we had an excellent practice week. And it didn't show up on game day, which is unfortunate. But I was very pleased with the way we practiced this week. I thought there was excellent focus on the field, in the meeting rooms. You know, I didn't hear any of the talk uh, of anything, you know, other games being played around the country, the, the conference situation. You know, to me, we, we had a focused football team coming in here. We just didn't execute very well. Kyle, the silver lining, the fact that you still control your own destiny, you can beat Louisville and go to the BCS? I, I, I don't know that. I'm not, you know, silver linings to me, I, I don't have. I'm not trying to be rude. I don't have much use for them. You know, it's not really, you know, for us, we're very disappointed in how we played today. You know, we need to play better. I mean, we need to execute better, offense, defense, and special teams. And we don't have a lot of time to get it to, to get it turned around. You know, we got a short week, but so does our opponent. So we'll have to maximize our time between now and Thursday night and play a better football game. That's really where our focus needs to be. Kyle, you mentioned the injuries. Um, with Jamison and Civil, was it recurring injuries or new injuries? I mean, was it? I won't know that until tomorrow. I'm not quite sure, because even sometimes if a player has a, a sprained ankle, he might sprain the same ankle again, but it could be for a different reason or in a different spot, so I, I don't know that yet. I was part of the disappointment of this that one phase wasn't able to pick up the other, because it seemed like all three phases had their issues today. I think, as a coach, you're always disappointed when you, when you have opportunities early in the game in terms of, at least, I can, let me speak for myself. I always feel like if we ha if we can control the field position early in the game, I always feel like that'll produce points for us. 
And I thought we did that early in the game today, but it didn't produce points for us. And that's probably my biggest disappointment. Kyle, when you look at the first quarter, did you just feel like the offense wasn't executing, or were they tight, or anything else from I mean, just I, I lack of execution? I think it's lack of execution. I don't think it was tight. I, I don't think it's the weather. You know, I don't know why those balls were dropped. You know, I, I, I wish I did. I, you know, every receiver who plays a lot of football is going to drop a ball here and there. To, to have three different guys do it in one game is, is almost like an unfortunate coincidence. What was it about Pitt's passing game that allowed it to be so effective? Against you guys today? I think they ran the ball. I think they ran the ball effectively. Most of their passing game is play actions. You know, they did some quick game stuff. They don't do a lot of drop back. They've got a fifth year senior quarterback who was an excellent decision maker and an accurate passer, and he played a very good game today. Conversely, it seemed like your running game didn't really gain much traction today. Is that, was there any one reason for that? Or? Well, I think initially we didn't have enough plays. You know, yet, to me, and I think both teams are probably, I think if you looked at the first quarter, you probably would say that about both teams. But I think as the, as the game went on, they executed better than we did, so they had more attempts. And when you have more attempts, that usually makes your running game a little bit better. How much of the interior offensive line struggles were because of Aaron Donald or as opposed to you know, just internal problems? I think quite a bit's because of Aaron Donald. Uh, I think Aaron played a very good game. I think you watch that game on tape, you're going to see him in the backfield. And he was very athletic, high motor, very talented defensive lineman, and, and he played like it today. So you don't have any worries about you know the makeup of your interior offensive line that they could be re recurring issues? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't use the, the word worry. I think every week we go into it and we got to assess the matchups and the players that we have that didn't perform up to our standards. We're going to be very critical of them you know, in, in the film room as we watch the tape. And then as we get to Louisville, we got to look at their personnel and, and see what challenges that they will they will have for us.